and dialogue with close to 60 of his contemporaries, who you'd have to say together irrevocably changed the trajectory of art in the 20th century. And some of the figures include people such as Georges Braque, Salvador Dali, Alberto Giacometti, Francois Gillot, Dorothea Tanning, Dora Ma, of course, and Henri Matisse. So it's very exciting to see this incredible group of artists coming together and actually just showing how they were discussing their art history and the social history of their times together. It has been curated though, especially for Australian audience audiences by wonderful Didier Ottinger, our friend and colleague. Didier is an internationally recognised scholar of 20th century painting. In fact, he's curated just about every... 50% of the shows that I go to Paris are always curated by you, Didier, wherever they are. And he does all the venues across Paris. You're quite extraordinary. You're a powerhouse as a curator. Uh, he's of incredible um, international standing and has been a great friend of Australia's now for many years. So it's a real pleasure to have him here and also thinking independently for us uh, in terms of what will really work for our audience. So thank, thank you. Thank you, Tony, for these uh, kind words. Uh, it, had, it has been said that you are a very talented curator. You are also one of the bravest I know. Uh, ten years ago when you asked me, uh, let's, let's imagine what could be the important show for, for Melbourne. I said, okay, let's try. And it was very challenging because I selected at first what I thought was the most important work to describe the, 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 the century itself, all the century, the 20th century. And it was for 10 years a big fight. Luckily, I get the support from the Musée Picasso, thanks to the Musée Picasso again. But also in my house, uh, itself at the Centre Pompidou. This list was established a long time ago, but quite regularly um, some of my colleagues come and say, oh, you know, this, word, uh, this work has been requested by the Metropolitan Museum in New York, this one has been requested by Tokyo and so, and we have to fight to keep it together, and that's what you see. So it's a long fight, thanks to your courage and your tenacity. It's not just Picasso as this isolated figure in the 20th century, even though he was probably the most domineering in terms of his influence on art history, but it's showing that he had this strong rapport. In this case, 60 other artists are included in dialogue with him, with 100 additional works to the 80 already in by Picasso. And it's, I suppose, showing a certain vulnerability in him as well, because you can see that he's constantly looking at other practitioners. What are they doing? How does it influence him? How is he influencing them? And so on. So it shows a real person rather than just a person who's constantly idolised and not questioned. 
and, uh, and it shows that a person really affected by a lot of natural crises, you know, world wars, Spanish Civil War, being an outsider, a Spaniard in France. There's a whole lot of things in there that are also, I think, come to the come to the fore in this particular exhibition. So we, we see his weaknesses and his strengths, and we see a very open dialogue with the world. Tell us about what it is about standing in front of a work of art that is more enriching than the culture of image bombardment we are now in. There's something about the, the mystique and the beauty of something being done by the hand and being able to feel the hand and the mind working together. You look at a painting, you look at the texture, you, you, you can feel the emotion, you can feel the speed of the brush. You, you, you're actually, it's as though you're a part of that conversation, that moment in time. There's something particularly beautiful when you look at, say, someone as mythologised as Picasso too, and you can actually see the texture of the paint. You can actually feel uh, the way that he's brushed something across the surface before he's finished it. You, you have a closeness, it's as though you are, you are that person or you are with him at another time in life. It, it's something that's sometimes not even hard to describe, it's more of an emotional kind of feel. That, um, there are real people who make the art that, changes our, that change our life and standing alongside that you really start to sense that they did exist. How long did it take you to put this exhibition together? We used to say that we, we stabilised the la list of work ten years ago, but of course uh, we didn't work ten years during all the time for mm. this exhibition, but we had to keep the list of work together to keep the work grouped okay. as long as, as we start. How long have you been in the art game? Oh, uh, since the, let's say, the 80s, okay. uh, because I moved from mathematics mm -hmm. to art history during my, uh, when I was a student. In your experience, what makes this exhibition special? Because we don't often see the work of an artist put in the context. Yeah. You say that, this is precisely what we wanted to achieve. It's to promote a new idea of Picasso, not as an isolated figure, uh, uh, an artist living uh, above the sky, but someone who is facing and reacting to social events, to political events, to uh, encounter he had with different people painter, artist and so on, and also to different places, because he didn't make the same art when he was in the south of France than when he was at the beginning of his life as an artist uh, in, in Paris, for instance. Do you have a particular favourite painting of his? All of them, because every single work of Picasso is singular, is yeah. something original, because there is a kind of progression from one to another. Well, when can you fix the image. You can see here in this room, there is this film by Henri Claude Clouseau, and Henri Georges Clouseau, and precisely the title of this film is Picasso's Mystery. And the mystery in question is, mm. what is the genius of Picasso? And yeah. you see it in these images. It's metamorphosis from one shape to another. How can you stop it on one image? Mm -hmm. You can, but... Yeah, yeah. If, if you had to pick one... I would say the last one. The one, the mousquetaire on the blue, because it's the one I choose for the catalog, for the cover of the catalog. Now, I just wanted to get a general comment from you about government support of the arts. Yeah. In France, yeah. can you tell me yeah. how rich that association is, yeah. and can you compare and contrast? From what I know, because I don't know everything, uh, French institution has been for years support uh, massively, and it's still the case, by the French government. From what I've seen here, the museum and this exhibition get an incredible support from the government of Victoria. So it means it's very comparable. Uh, another thing, I heard that the, the federal government was very supportive to help for the insurance of these invaluable works. So it's very com com comparable in a way. To what we have movies, streaming, TV, moving images everywhere, just bombarded yeah, 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 yeah. with images in this culture. Yeah. What is it, in your opinion, about standing in front of a painting yeah. that is significantly different and more enriching yeah. than that moving image culture? Yeah. Specifically with Picasso, there is a uh, a rare nature of images he produced. Uh, he used to say, 
uh, painting is not a decoration uh, thing. This is a weapon. And you can feel that in front of each of his paintings. And if you compare it, it's, it's a good exercise to compare it to other artists. And you will feel immediately that you are addressing it, the, the painting, address you in a very powerful way, which is not the case of many, many. And none of the image you mention, because on the TV, on the telephone, and so, this is image you immediately forget. You are, you are in a flux. Here, you are receiving something much stronger. It is amazing that you can now sit through a two and a half hour movie and five minutes later you can't remember anything yeah. that you've yeah. just seen. That's it, that's yeah. it, precisely. You will never forget the image of Picasso, believe me.